Did you know the percentage of firm abandonment reaches up to 80% which results in missing a good number of potential leads? And the reason behind this is either the form is too long or it's simply just too boring. Or maybe the users don't feel like completing it today and leave it for the next day. All you need is a better solution to combat this issue like Plant Form Save and Resume feature. This powerful tool ensures users to pause and return to their forms without losing their progress, significantly reducing form abandonment. So let's see how you can make that happen. Fluent Forms has come up with three different approaches. You can implement the save and resume feature in multi-step forms, conversational forms, and of course, regular forms. First up, multi-step form. These are perfect for breaking down lengthy forms into manageable sections. Your app stuck in this long form where I'll add the form step input field to break the form into several steps. Adjust the page breaks. Now to employ the save and resume feature, go to the input customization. You will find these three options. Now, if you click on the enable per step data option, you'll be able to collect the partially filled up data by enabling this field, even if the user did not click on the submit button. One thing to note is that the partial information will be triggered at the click of the following button. If you have already noticed, upon enabling this option, there appears another feature named Resume Step from the last form session. As the name suggests, enabling this option will allow your users to resume filling out their forms from where they left off. Cool, right? Now, let's save the form. For the preview, I'm gonna leave the form half done on purpose. Okay, now refreshing the page and voila! Another good news, you can also access the save to data in the partial enter section. Next comes conversational forms, a feature that turns your boring, overwhelming queries into engaging chat-like interactions. To employ the save and resume feature, go to the settings and integrations of the conversational form. At the bottom of this drop-down, conversational form per save save appears. Here you see this works exactly the same as I mentioned previously in the multi-step form. Now, when you toggle on the Enable Per Step Save button, the Resume Form Last Step option appears. Enable it as per your needs. Okay, time to see the preview. Once again, I'm leaving the form incomplete for the demonstration purposes. This time, instead of refreshing the page, I'll copy the link and paste it into another tab. See, the form data is still intact. Now I can resume filling out the form exactly where I left off, and that is awesome. Oh, you need to remember it don't work simultaneously across different browsers, so it has to be the same browser you are using right now. And of course, the save and resume feature works brilliantly with regular forms as well. Whether it's a simple contact form or a detailed survey, users can save their entries and finish filling them out at their convenience. Now, let's see how it works in a basic contact form. Go to the advanced input field and take the save and resume field. You can drop this field anywhere in the form where you think the users can easily spot it. Then customize the field according to your needs. Choose yes if you want to allow only locked in users to access the save and resume feature. You can also rewrite the success message. But what I find the most interesting here is this enable email option over here. By enabling this, you will be able to allow the users to send themselves the email resume link. Here, you also get the email subject and body to overhaul it. That's not all. In the advanced options, there is another cool feature called Send Email on Partial Entry Created. By enabling this, you can send emails to any specific address you want. You can also send emails each time the entries get updated by selecting Yes in the next option. And the best part, you can fully customize the email bodies and everything else to fit your needs perfectly both times. Okay, let's see what happens when I click on the Save and Resume button in the preview. But make sure to save the form before that. Here goes the success message, and Fluent Forms has created a link for me that I can use later. If you prefer to have this link sent to a more secure location like your email address, then provide it here. Okay, you should also check if I received the email or not, right? There you go. So, these are the possible approaches with Fluent Forms that you can use to prevent form abandonment. I hope you find Fluent Forms safe and resume feature as cool as I do. Don't let your users sleep away. Make the most of this feature to enhance user experience and capture more leads. Until next time, happy form building with Fluent Forms.